am a grinder on the SCG tour. Um, I'm currently ranked first on their circuit. We stream constructed magic and constructed hex on this channel. So if you enjoy watching either of those, feel free to give us a follow. Copy that. So we've got two elementals. We should have swung first. Yep, you're right. We missed. Uh, we missed two points of damage there. How to beat four color rally with what? It, you know, it depends on the deck. Lots of decks have different tools. Ghostly prison. Well, it's a good thing we've got this Quasily Pride Mage, I guess. Those are my glasses. I don't think this Intrepid Hero is getting much better, so we're just going to play that out. Uh, actually, we can't because then we can't kill the Ghostly Prison, right? Ow. So I guess we'll put this into play tapped. We'll kill you. the Prison and then crack him for four. So we're down two points of damage right now because I didn't attack with the voice before casting. Uh, I don't play it all on the Grand Prix circuit. Um, it's just, it's difficult to, like, make reasonable EV on the GP circuit. Like, if I'm doing well in an open, I can top eight with a record of... I had top eight with a record of 12-3. But on a Grand Prix, there were there were 12 twos that missed the top eight of this Grand Prix this past weekend. That's insane. You're making me like, like, 12-2 as... 12-2 is... X-2 has never missed top 8 at an open. In fact, I believe 12-2-1 has never missed top 8 at an open. So, it's pretty savage to to be missing with records like that at big events. And the other thing about opens is that, like, the total... Like, the reason why worse records can make top 8s of opens is because there's less players overall. So even though there's less total prize pool, that money is being spread out over less players, so... So your cash-to-player ratio is still pretty, pretty favorable. So he's playing, like, mono Eldrazi hate cards. That's cute. It's a ton of traveling. Um... That's adorable. Can't trip your, your flicker wisp. There are five people without that didn't top eight. That's so gross. Obzadak goes one 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 with the follow. I appreciate all those follows, folks. Cinnamon sticks and cookies. Chirp. Supreme verdict on this meddling mage. This old powerful collected company that puts all of these cards in the bottom of our deck and puts a 2-2 into play. You know, strong plays. What are your thoughts on the zombie infestation list atop of GP Melbourne? Uh, I didn't see the zombie infestation list, so I don't really have any strong opinions on it one way or another. I think Supreme Verdict is more likely than Elspeth as possible. I should name Sun Titan here, too. You can't really play SCG events unless you live in these. I mean, I live in the Midwest. I'm two hours south of Chicago. So, like, if you're willing to travel a little bit, like, I also get really cheap flights out of Chicago, like Spirit Airlines, which is a crappy airline overall, but the flights are super cheap. Like, I've my last uh, my last few flights on Spirit have cost me less than, um, what is it, less than a third, less than $100 each. So that's not bad. Actually, my Baltimore flight was 105, so I guess it's a little bit more than 100. Yeah, and I just feel like this is probably another matchup that, like, this deck just can't win. This deck's probably, like, reasonable against, um... It's probably reasonable against the, like, Eldrazi decks just because of, like, the Intrepid Heroes and Dismembers and Paths and stuff and the Knights being really large. But on average, this deck does not seem like it has a lot of game against the Diverse Field. Which overall, especially online even, like, there just aren't enough Eldrazi cards to go around. So you're going to play against a lot of decks that aren't Eldrazi still. You're only going to play against a lot of Eldrazi when you're playing a long tournament and you're sitting towards the top tables during that tournament. Too many instances of planes doing things like catching fire. I've never heard of any stories like that, Waffle. Yeah, round trip flights under under a hundred dollars. Omen speaker, man, he's deep. All right, well, we got a knight of the reliquary. What did he do with this guys? He went top bottom. This is a knight, so knight can find township at least. 
Where can I buy Hex Singles? I want to put together Winter Moon. Uh, you can buy Hex Singles from Hex Primal and Five Shards. You can both fill a cart on both of those sites and hit checkout so you can compare the prices. Hexprimal.com. Uh, another ghostly prison, sure. There's no way Obi Speaker's optimal. You're probably, yeah. Uh, meddling Mage is naming Supreme Verdict. So he has to deal with the Meddling Mage first. Omen Speaker has to be worse than uh, Wall of Omens. He's passing that. Alright. This shuffles the two collected companies we put on the bottom of our deck back in, so that's nice. Sure, if you're going to have a carry-on bag, then fly something other than Spirit. But I travel just for a weekend, like I leave Friday night and come back Monday morning for a Magic event, and I, I don't need a carry-on bag. Like, my, my Magic deck, two changes of clothes, my small laptop, like, all fits in one of their free bags, so... Um, I think he did well with Scapeshift because Eldrazi have effectively pushed a lot of the decks that Scapeshift is really bad against out of the format. The only aggressive deck that Scapeshift has a chance of keeping up with in general is Affinity because you can bring to light for Shatterstorm. In general, the Scapeshift bring to light decks to never keeps up with um, Burn and never keeps up with Infect. Um, a lot of flights are a lot more than expensive than that. That's why I've been flying Spirit. All right. Well, we might run out of lands eventually. That would be great. Uh, 2.5 and 3 star hotels. Like, 2.5 star hotels are plenty fine most of the time. 2.5 star hotels usually include free breakfast, which is plus EV for everyone in the room. I'm all about that free, free muffin and waffle in the morning. Maybe an apple and a banana. I mean, it's really not like it's a business practice that's created to rail the people that don't read the fine print. And honestly, I, I'm all for punishing people that are stupid. So they are praying. They're preying on people that can't read the fine print. So if you can't read the fine print, you're going to get screwed in a lot of things in life, including flying spirit like. I was wrong. We could draw another land. This doesn't even have any fetchables left, right? We've got all four shocks and all four basics out. All right. That's why whenever I hear people flying on spirit that like, oh man, they just like, they savaged me on this carry on. It's like, well, maybe you should have read the fine print and known that you can't bring a carry on. Like, It's not, you're right, it's not even fine print. They're very upfront about it. To be fair, if you book through a third-party site, you can easily miss it. Because, like, the third-party site doesn't have all the, the stuff like Spirit's website does. And that's another thing. Like, if you book, like my wife just said, if you book through Spirit's website, they're very upfront about the fact that, like, nothing's included in your flight other than, like, you and a small bag. But if you book through a third-party site like Priceline or something like that and just assume they're, like, every other airlines, like then you're probably going to get ranched. Uh, I'm actually going to Phantasmal Image of Cortisar here. Spirit is a lot cheaper than most airlines. We even paid white mana for this, so we get to keep our Cortisar. I'll take this collected company. Thank you. So we'll get Voice of Resurgence and Eternal Witness. Rebuy Collected Company with Eternal Witness.
And I think with the cards that I just shuffled back into my deck, I'm going to use this Misty Rainforest as a pay one life shuffle my deck. Because we put Phantasmal Image and other cards I wouldn't mind drawing on the bottom. Ugh. He has a Mary online. Okay. That's not great for us. I mean, we're not attacking, and we, we have infinite mana, and we're not, like, alpha striking him. He's got a bunch of 1-3s on his side of the table. So, like, realistically, how we're winning this game is likely, like, getting a Knight of the Reliquary and getting Gavity Township and making this Bird of Paradise huge. Yeah, hopefully hopefully the children's music doesn't get flagged for copyright on Twitch. How awkward would that be? Like, the audio is muted because there was children's music playing in the background? That would be funny. Project Barrett with the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. So we're going to go ahead and crack our fetch here. We can't make man. This doesn't actually find a mana producing land. We've got we've got one Gavity in the deck. So these are these are our outs. Are you watching Jake's crib? Yep. I've got Jake's crib up. I mean, he didn't go down until almost after three. It's been four hours. Okay. No, so unlike a lot of people that like produce magic content, I'm not going to lie to you and pretend that I know what decks are going to be good in the new format. Like anyone that tells you otherwise that like they've got an in or something and they know that it's going to be good, like they're just guessing. Like none of us really know. So Knight of the Reliquary and Phantasmal Image here. And as odd as it sounds... I think this phantasmal image is copying this Birds of Paradise because I'm going to start Gavany Townshipping, I think. We're going to knight for Gavany Township and then and then do that. Oh, you know what? We have um, we have Intrepid Hero to deal with Sun Titan. Perhaps I'm supposed to Collected Company for another Meddling Mage and name name Path to Exile. I'm gonna do that. I should have done this on my turn. This was a mistake. I have a voice. If we get like mana leaked here. Oh, we drew Scavenging Goose. That's really good. Right, I forgot we had one of those. There's, there's a total reason to do this in response. Look at that. Like a professional. 